What is up, ladies and gentlemen? CJ the Cheese DJ here, and we're back with another A to Z of Ark for you guys today. And today, guys, we're taking a look at the Dire Bear. Now, the Dire Bear is found on every map except for Scorched Earth, and I love the Dire Bears. They're just so cool. They're, I love them. They're probably one of my favorite mounts. You will find these guys through the Redwood biomes on whatever map it is that you are running through, except for Aberration. You'll find them kind of just scattered around everywhere. Now, in order to tame these guys up, I would recommend bringing a long neck rifle with either tranquilizer darts or shocking trank darts. Either one, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't recommend using a crossbow on these guys because they have higher torpor than their health. So you have the potential to kill these guys. Another little bit of note to make is that you should not aim for their heads. They don't take a headshot modifier. So if you shoot them in the head, they'll actually take uh, more damage than if you would shoot them in the other body parts. So try to avoid shooting them in the head because you will just end up killing them. And like I said, I would recommend using a crossbow over a, uh, sorry, a long neck over a crossbow. Otherwise you're gonna have a bit of a trouble um, knocking these guys out without killing. You can outrun them on base movement speed. However, I would recommend leveling up your movement speed just a smidgen bit to deal with these guys. As well as that, I would recommend building a trap because uh, Argies can't pick these guys up, so you'd have to use a Wyvern or a Quetzal or, or something like that to pick it up. So I would recommend building a trap for these guys. You can simply build a uh, a uh, two by one. It will definitely do the job. So you just need literally some foundations, some stairs and some door frames. Simply chuck those down and you'll be good to go. We'll quickly build one for you guys just to show you the sort of trap you want to use for them. So simply go with a foundation, go with another foundation. You want to go with that, with that, uh, with that, with that, with that. We're going to not make sure he's in there. There we go. And you're going to want to put your ramps down. You can use ramps or stairs, they're the same thing. Uh, let me get that snap. There we go. You can switch it over to the ramp if you really want to look at the difference of it. So get the dire bear's attention. Come over here, you big stinky Winnie the Pooh. Simply run away from it and try and kite it towards the trap. So we're going to run straight ahead. Trap should be just up ahead. You can obviously build it wider or longer if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. You only need one high for the dire bear though. Um, so take note of that. You can go too high if you want to use the trap for other stuff. One high is perfect for the dire bears. They can't get over that. And then simply trank it out. That's all you need to do. It is an aggressive tame. You cannot passive tame these guys, unfortunately. Um, and they will not aggro on you unless you get too close to them. So make sure you're prepared if you do decide to get close to them because um, they hit very hard and they can kill you very quickly. Even your tanks. These guys chunk through health. It is crazy how strong they are. Really love die bears though. They're, they're sick. I love them. They're one of my favorite tanks you can get. So knock it out. Once you've knocked it out, you can feed it superior kibble or honey. Now, one thing to note is that superior kibble and uh, honey kind of have the same effects. You will lose a little bit of uh, taming effectiveness with the honey, but not enough to worry about levels, especially if you're playing on like a, even on official with the taming rates, what they are now. You can easily tame them with honey and not worry about losing taming effectiveness. Uh, the perk to using superior kibble over the honey is that it will tame faster and it will cost you less kibble in comparison to honey. So if you do want to knock one of these guys out, make sure you've got some honey or superior kibble. If you don't have either of that available, you can use uh, mutton as well, which is their next favorite thing. Um, but I would definitely recommend using honey, especially considering how relative easy, relatively easy it is to get honey uh, nowadays. So make sure you chuck the honey in its inventory. All the superior kibble, it's up to you what you want to use. Um, and this guy will tame up. Now, once you've got them tamed up, they've got quite a plethora of abilities. Um, I really do enjoy the dire bears. So we're going to quickly go over and we're just going to tame this one up real quick. Boom, just like that. Uh, as for saddle as well, we'll come into here and we'll show you the saddle requirements. You need to be level 45, 100 cementing pace, 130 fiber, 300 hide. A little bit expensive with the cementing pace, but you can pretty much farm that from beaver dams real quick. Grab your dire bear saddle, chuck it on. You can find high tier uh, dire bear saddles really easy on the maps as well in drops so i would recommend getting one of these guys imprinting on one of them and just cruising around now they've got a secondary attack they've got a primary attack uh both of these deal colossal amounts of damage if you use the secondary attack you will have to stop running the primary attack however can be continuously used while running he's also capable of gathering berries uh fiber seeds hide chitin meat organic polymer all the good stuff this guy can gather in the droves he's very effective in it 
Um, so I'd heavily recommend getting yourself a Dire Bear. He's obviously not the best at it, but if you're looking for an all-around ATV mount, definitely go look no further than your Dire Bear. Now, as for his attack damage, each one deals a slightly different amount of damage. His secondary attack will deal more damage because he is stationary. His primary attack does deal a little less damage, but you can constantly use that while moving. Secondary attack is only able to be used while you're standing still. So do take note of that, um, but you know, you can easily just pump up a couple extra points of melee damage and constantly use your primary attack on the fly and it will enable you to chase down anything really. Now, as for the Die Bear, his movement speed is another ability that he has. So over time, the more sprinting you do, the faster you become. So you can see we're actually picking up movement speed here. Now, once you reach max movement speed, like he's kind of like a train. You just get started and you keep going. Once you reach max movement speed, you can actually outrun a galley Mimus that hasn't been leveled. So Die Bears are very fast. Now, another added benefit of this is that they're extremely strong, have tons of health, have tons of weight on them, and have tons of stamina. Without you having to worry about leveling up any of that. Just off this, this guy's got 800, stam uh, 800 weight, 1600 stamina, 1300 health, and a crap ton of melee damage. This guy can deal out damage and just fly like no tomorrow. Now, another added benefit of the Dire Bear is that he's able to protect you, the rider, from bees attacks. Now, you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, we've got bee, pr bee protection. This means if we go up to a beehive and harvest honey from a beehive, the Dire Bear will protect us from these bees. Now, I've been having a bit of a trouble finding a beehive on Valgiro. Literally been looking for him for like half an hour, like I'm not even lying. Um, and it doesn't look like any have spawned in on any of the trees, and I don't know why. It's extremely frustrating. But another added benefit of the Dire Bear, and I unfortunately can't show you guys at the moment, is that he's able to harvest honey without aggroing the bees. So say you've got a beehive that you can reach, you can use your right-click button, and you will passively, not passively, but you will gather honey from that beehive without aggravating the bees inside of it, and you'll also get triple the amount. So generally, when you harvest a beehive using a survivor, you'll only get five honey. Using a dire bear, you'll actually get 15 honey. So it's a great way to go about harvesting honey, um, and you're protected from the bees. He doesn't even aggro the bees when you harvest them. If you harvest it as the player, and you run back to your dire bear, you will get a uh, bee debuff for 10 seconds where you're attacked by bees. Your Dire Bear will protect you the moment you jump onto him. So he's really effective at that as well. Now, another added benefit is that he does provide you with hypothermal and hyperthermic insulation, giving you 35 of each while you are near him. So, you know, you can keep him as a cuddle buddy at late at night for those cold wintry nights, and he'll keep you nice and warm and snug. That means you can also use it to hatch eggs if you've got uh, some low tier eggs that don't require too much temperature to hatch. And like I said, this guy's great. He gathers meat like a king. He gathers berries and fiber like a king. You can do it all while on the run, so you actually never have to stop unless you obviously run out of stamina. But this guy's really great. He's good for chasing down enemy players as well because his sprint constantly replenish not replenishes, sorry. He just constantly gets faster until he caps out. So I definitely recommend taming up a Dire Bear if you have the opportunity to. Definitely imprint on them because once you get a good saddle on them and you level up, level them up a little bit, these guys become kings. I wish there was a dino that protected you from micro raptor attacks. Those dudes are the bane of my video producing. They just ruin every video that they're in. So I definitely recommend getting a Dire Bear. Even now, this guy's just chunking through whatever it is. That oh my god, another one, of course. Nonetheless, guys, we're going to wrap up the video here today. Definitely get yourselves a die bear. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you.